I found these old traditional wooden planters thrown outside a house to be renovated and I will be using those in the future to do my first project. We also found there this old wheelbarrow which of course I will be using to plant. But we also have two old washing machines. Now I think I could use the door for a planter and I want to take them apart and looking at my one indoors yes the door would be suitable for things I don't want to drain of water and yes a drum looks like that could be used but of course I'm going to take the whole thing apart I'm sure there's something else I can use maybe even the drawer for small plants and we're going to take the whole thing apart anyway the sides we want to use for magnetic whiteboards We're using old sandbag delivery bags for inside our no nail, no screw pallet razor beds. They also retain the moisture so they're excellent for growing. For smaller growing projects we use old wooden crates. You can often get these free from your wine merchant or supermarkets. And for indoors or small herb beds, you can use any small box you can find. Just make sure you have a drip tray underneath. At the moment, we use old water tanks from the roofs in Cyprus to store our wood. But in the future, we could use some as raised growing beds. You can pretty them up by salvaging any old tiles and maybe attaching them to the sides. Salvaging things such as old sinks here is always a simple find, as are old wheelbarrows and so forth. It's not our tractor, it belongs to the stables. He's got the mixer. Our mixer has broken, so he's lent my, his mixer, cement mixer. That's what he's got today. Lending it to us, he doesn't need it. Stable at the moment. Just borrowing the one from the stable as and when we need it. I think we can use it as long as we need it, but obviously Mike will borrow the tractor and take it back whenever he needs it. also contemplated taking down our old satellite dish maybe a pond in the middle with some plants around the edge who knows I like to mix and match and be creative with things I find to make other types of planters this one will be for a trailing plant from three things I've found I'm always looking and creating. Everything to me has potential, whether for a planter or for some other use.
Check out the links below for more of my salvage videos and other frugal ideas.